Greetings, I am Dr. Shiva Takar Chhabra from Dayanand Medical College and Hospital Ludhiana. I would like to thank CSI NIC for giving me an opportunity to present on a very important topic. My topic was on left main coronary interventions in presence of cardiogenic shock. As cardiologists, we all know that a patient with acute left main coronary disease who presents in cardiogenic shock, mortality is almost imminent. It is a high geopardy state because left main, especially when, if it, when it is with left dominance, can actually hamper the functioning of the heart. And in presence of cardiogenic shock, the mortality is very, very high. The mortality which in absence of cardiogenic shock is 40, 50 and 75 percent at 30 day, 1 year and 3 years is respectively 50, 60 and 85 percent at 30 days, 1 year and 3 years respectively. With this high mortality, these patients need very prompt intervention and of course, CABG is not possible in most of them. PCI in experienced hands is the treatment of choice. In these patients, it was found that the use of IABP did not give much benefit. The type of stent strategy was not actually a predictor of mortality. So what was the predictor of mortality? The predictor of mortality was the presence of cardiogenic shock and a poor TME3 flow. In fact, the registries like Atoloma registry, a recent Egyptian uh, data which was published in January 2023 again stated the same thing that mortality was high. However, in the in-hospital survivors, the outcomes were very good. In these patients which present a subset which may not survive, we need to actually be very proficient while planning the strategy. We know that the time which comes and the future which holds for cardiology is not just the reperfusion of the artery because reperfusion can be associated with reperfusion injury which can be very very detrimental for our patients. So, when a patient of left main coronary disease presents to your emergency and presents in a cardiogenic shock, as you wheel the patient to the cath lab for performing as urgent reperfusion that you can do, think about unloading the left ventricle. Door to unloading in these patients is very important. It is imperative that once you achieve the flow in the artery, you also need to think about supplying the apt mechanical circulatory support to your patient, which can be an ECMO in the presence of hypoxemia, an, uh, an impeller, a CP impeller or an RV impeller, depending upon the type of shock that you are dealing with. Just performing a PCI is not the end of it. What is the end is how your patient and how the myocardium recovers once you have done the PCI. So monitor your patient, be by the side of your patient. It's not just the intervention, it's your action which is hope for the patient. So please continue to act for these patients. They may have not very good results which have been stated in the past, but with the technology that we have in our hands, I think future can save these lives. Thank you very much.